All right, so I want to make this video just to clarify things of weight loss and fat loss. There is a difference between the two, a big difference between the two. And after this video, you will understand. And I and I explain this to clients. So when someone first signs up with me, we actually have to wrap our head around the difference. Unless you understand the difference, even, even if you lose weight, it's only gonna be temporary. Like most people, weight loss is only temporary. Very few people, people or persons, weight loss is permanent, very few. And here's the reason why, okay? Let, let me start off with, the, with these two, two categories. Okay, so right now the trend of today is Ozempic and Wagovi. In, and you got, you got a con con also known as Zip Pound or Z Pound. Um, before then, you had your surgeries, you had your, your full bypass, and you had your sleeve, and then your gastric band, which you know that's pretty much uh, the doctor just open you up and alter things so it shrinks your stomach in essence. So, yes, we're not going to get into like the the technical part of it. We're going to get into like what really works and what doesn't and why. So, okay. So, yes, I, I have clients, just to clarify it, right? I'm being totally unbiased about this. I am a biased person when it comes down to this, but I, I do understand why. And then there there is reasons, I think, that maybe some, some people need to, to do this. There are certain situations I say yet, but most are not. But I but I do clarify to be transparent. I do have clients that have been through all this, and I have clients right now that that are on these compounds here. Um, so just to say, you choose you go to weight loss clinic, right? And you choose to whatever um, these compounds they use to you know inject in you and and cause you to not be hungry and start to lose weight. For one, the active ingredients in these compounds is, is semaglutide, or some people might go as a GPL, GLP-1. And that, that pretty much, um, in essence, help your body metabolize carbohydrates a lot better in, in addition to making you not hungry. And the reason why you lose weight is those two main factors, not to get into the science and all that, really doesn't matter. You just want to know what works and what doesn't. Okay, so you metabolize, you metabolize food better, especially um, carbohydrates, okay? And you're not hungry. But here's, here's the problem. Okay, so this right here, in essence, make you not hungry, okay? You eat less, okay? So in this group, you lose weight, well, you lose more fat loss, not weight, if you do it in this, if you do all this, right? If you uh, change your diet, which is that's the food, if you do resistance training, resistance training is weights. Anything resisting you, it can be band, it can be dumbbells, it can be barbells, whatever. If it's resistance, if resisting your muscles is resistance training. Cardio, cardio is cardiovascular, running, walking, biking, swimming is cardio. Then you have water. So water is just pretty much our bodies are made up from 75 to 60. 65 to 75% water, so we have to have water because we've made up of mostly water, uh, um, in essence. And then you have meditation. Meditation is pretty much, um, the, well, it's, it's spiritual as well, but it deals with stress. Stress, if you're stressed out, you can also gain weight, especially whole water, because it, it, even if you're stressed enough, of course it causes heart attacks, things like that, but it can cause diabetes. By the way, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I'm not saying it could. It could. Uh, all doctors agree. Um, but but here's the thing about it is when you get stressed out, your body produces a lot of cortisol, which that can be a problem too. Cortisol is good to have if you're in a um, fight or flight situation. But if you stay in a fight or flight situation and it's chronic, then it can be a problem. It causes a lot of issues in the body. Um, it should be more acute, you know, not chronic when it comes to the fight or flight. So, in essence, weight is going to be bone, it's going to be muscle, bone, water, fat. That's pretty much weight. That's the mass of your body. I mean, there's other little details too, like ligaments, tendons, and all that. But we're talking about 
pretty much the mass of your body is muscle bone water fat okay so this right here is um, going to be your whole key of what type of body you have so let's just say you go on you go this route okay no judgment let's just say you go this route means that people do so now you, instead of eating like one whole pizza you might be eating two pizzas two slices so you uh, of course you're going to lose weight plus you, you're taking a compound to help your body metabolize, metabolize the food better well the problem is you're not taking in nearly enough protein and you're not taking any nutrients the whole point of eating food is for nutrients like pro like protein and 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 that type of thing, vitamins, uh, nutrients, mac macronutrients to build your body. Because your and, and your body, cells die in your body all the time, then other cells are reborn. Well, how is it reborn? It takes whatever you eat and rebuild cells. So, so in other words, you could be starving, losing weight, but you're not eating calories, but you're also not taking nutrients either. This way, you're also creating a calorie deficit, but because you're eating food, you're taking the proper amount of nutrients. So if you went this route and you were eating properly, if you're eating food properly, um, you would be a lot better off, okay? So this can work. I'm not saying it's not, I'm not against it. And if you're gonna do it, um, uh, do it, but realize that you have to change your lifestyle because your lifestyle was the problem that got you into the excess weight to start with, not lack of doing this. It is uh, just a whole, a to total unhealthy lifestyle. So you can use this as a crutch per se, or an aid to trans transfer over to this, eating properly, doing resistance training, doing cardio. And let me tell you, if you ever go to any clinic, anything like that, or you do any program, and they tell you not to work out, that lets you know it's a red flag right there. It's not healthy. Because no one tells you not to work out. No doctor tells you not to work out unless you have some type of, of, of issue that, you know, would be a problem, would cause a problem if you worked out. But that's rare. And that's the, if you're pretty healthy, or well, we're not really healthy, but if you're somewhat healthy, then you should be working out. If they tell you not to work out, that's your red flag right there. This is all about weight loss, what the scale says, not necessarily whether you're going to be healthy or not, which can cause problems down the road. So where I'm getting at in this. So think about it is if you go this route and you eat less, would they, keep, they put you on whoever or whatever, you're probably eating an 800 to 1,000 calorie diet, maybe 1,200, you're starving yourself to death and you're starving yourself of nutrients and, and um, vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that's essential for the health of your body. So you're gonna start losing muscle, you're gonna start losing bone density, and if you're not drinking enough water, uh, water as well. You may still be holding on to the fat. Now you're gonna lose some fat in essence, right? But you still may be holding on to some fat because, because you're not doing resistance training, your body has no reason to hold on to muscles. So what your body does, your body's created for survival. Now survival is, you know, if you're not doing resistance training, then, oh, let me back up. So if you are doing resistance training, what your body does is, um, because you're resisting something, when you're done with the resistance training, you go home and you eat a proper diet and you rest, your body's gonna say, let me build bigger and better muscles to, com to combat with that resistance that I'm up against every single day. So what your body does is gonna build muscle mass and bone density because of the resistance training. That is the whole point of resistance training, to build bone density, to build muscle mass, because without resistance, you only get weaker. If you're trying to do this without doing any of this, then you're gonna lose muscle and you're gonna lose bone. I mean, this just this is the way the body's designed. You can't get around that. So that's why resistance training is important. So in, in, in essence, if you went this route and didn't go this route, um, if you did food, which, you know, uh, if you do like, I don't know, I'm not pushing any type of diet. If you did keto, keto diet, carnivore diet, or just even a low carb diet, Mediterranean diet, pick whatever, and you were, and you were diligent and you were on top of it and you were doing resistance training and you were doing your cardio for cardiovascular health for your heart 
also cardio cardio also uh, creates a calorie deficit. So you can eat more food when you're doing cardio, even resistance training, of course. But you can eat more food doing cardio because you, you're creating a deficit just by doing more. So you can get away with eating more food, which means if you're eating the proper food, you're getting more nutrients, vitamins, and minerals, which is healthy for the body. If you're drinking enough water, because water increases fat loss as well, um, and keep you keep your cells hydrated, which is very important. Also keeping your stress level down, so you don't want to be stressed out which, which is raises your cortisol level. Um, so this route right here will build, you can't get around it. It's gonna build muscle, bone density, and of course you drink a lot of water, you're gonna have water, and you're gonna lose fat because your body wants to keep the muscle because you're doing resistance training. Because remember, the body has to adapt to whatever stress is under. You put it under resistance training, which is stress, using your muscles and your bones to to um, to resist it. So of course, what it's gonna do is gonna build stronger muscles and stronger bones. It has to, because it has to survive. You can't get around it. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a better shape because you have muscle. When I, think, when I say muscle, don't think of a bodybuilder because to be a bodybuilder is a whole nother level and very few people are actually gonna go through that type of pain. So there is no accidental bodybuilder, so don't even, don't even let that enter your mind. Um, when you do see bodies builders out there, they're not telling you what they do. Uh, so this right here, just by default, you're gonna have more muscle, more bone density, and you're gonna start burning fat. Why are you gonna start burning fat? Because your body doesn't need the fat because fat is just stored energy. So it says, I need the bone density, I need the muscle because I'm, I'm under resistance. So let me burn my alternative fuel source, which is fat which is ketones, you know, your, your, your body takes the, the fat to send it to the liver to be converted over as ketones to be used as alternative fuel source. Your body doesn't burn fat, just, just a little side note, burn ketones, you know, keto diet, ketones, that's what it does. So um, I'm hoping making sense of this. So the difference between weight loss, weight loss can be all this, muscle, bone, water, and fat, but still hold on to a lot of fat. Or you can have fat loss, which you're just burning fat, but you're keeping the muscle, bone, and of course, um, you're staying hydrated. I hope that makes sense. Um, if y'all guys have any questions, um, just leave a comment. So if you want to go this route, you can, by all means. I mean, it's your body. You can do whatever you want to do. But here's what I suggest. If you go this route, okay, um, choose healthy foods because remember you're eating for one reason only well you're going to eat for two reasons but the main reason you should be eating is for vitamins, minerals, nutrients micronutrients that's the reason why you're eating taste is secondary okay it shouldn't be primary the problem in, Amer problem is in America we all we don't even rely on taste buds and we, we kind of lose or we don't even know that we're supposed to be eating to be healthy in nutrients. So if you're gonna go this route, food, do resistance training because that's gonna keep your muscle, okay? Resistance training, the harder you go, the more you resist, the, the better off you're gonna be as far as bone and muscle. If you don't, you're gonna lose it, okay? You don't use it, you lose it, the old saying. And make sure you drink plenty of water and meditate no matter what you do. Um, meditation is a whole nother video. Um, and I don't want to make this video too long. Guys, I hope this makes sense. Um, just let me know. I can clarify things more. All right. Catch y'all next time.